Hello and welcome to Infinity. In looking at darks, midtones, and lights, uh, this picture it has a quite uh, novel but quite common histogram here in that you've got a lot down the low end here, a lot down the high end, and not a lot in the middle. And this is because you've got a light sky but a dark ground. So the question is, what can we do about this? Because we kind of want to darken that area and lighten up this area. And in doing so, we're going to stretch the histogram here to put something into the middle, because there's no midtones here. As you can see here, there's hardly anything in the middle. So, using curves, you can see here the overall effect, this great big gap in the middle. If I pull down this area here and pull up this area here, this is a classic S curve, but this is just making things worse. So we want to do the reverse of that. We want to lighten this area here, which is pulling up the ground here, but now the sky is much lighter, so we need to pull this one down. So what we've done here is this area here, the darks, we've increased the contrast in the darks. We've increased the contrast in the lights. And then we've decreased the contrast here in the midtones. So this has made a big difference to this. However, you may notice something like this horse here. This is not somehow not right here because it's gone a bit grey. This needs to be lighter here. So what can we do about it? Well, let's try getting the paintbrush here, getting the black brush and then so we're painting on the horse here. We I mean, will see a preview of it here, but if I paint on the horse, you can see here that this is bringing back the original tone of the horse. And I can even do those in the distance down here. So now we've got a histogram which is stretching across here. And we've got those mid-tones and they are brought more into it. They are brought by stretching out the darks and stretching out the lights to meet in the middle. With this, we're going to be kind of careful with it because we can actually get the this bit here almost flat. And the reason it doesn't matter, because it would normally make things grey, is because there's nothing here. There is nothing in this here to do anything with. But in doing so, we increase the contrast in the lights and darks. But we've got to cope with any bits here which are, these would be lights in the middle of the darks. So we're going to handle that. Anyway, that's it. Relatively simple. This is why we use the reverse S curve. That's it and thank you very much for watching.